The Force Awakens, Canoeing the Mountains, Part 1, Understanding Uncharted Territory, Trainers in Order of Appearance, Prilla Sphere, Jacob Woolwright, Pandora Bolt. Training objectives focus on participant application of leadership theories to chapters one through three of Canoeing the Mountains. Prepare in advance a training packet with photocopied articles, book excerpts, response cards, pen and paper. Note that articles and excerpts must be collected back to observe copyright law. This workshop emphasizes integrating authentic, adaptive, and transformative leadership principles into Lewis and Clark's amazing story. Leading in to chapter one, the key idea is that we are living in fast changing times with disorienting ways of doing and being. How can we be more like Lewis and Clark, finding the way relentlessly to achieve the goals, leading with strength? What does this quote mean for Lewis and Clark? In what ways are things different? What does it look like in your organizational setting? Does it change the way you lead? How? The next four slides engage participants in the discussion of Bolsinger's three leadership truths. Using Poll Everywhere, a free web-based polling tool with real-time responses, three polls will be created to allow participants to respond to the three questions that are being asked on the slides. The training guide and the slide notes have information on how to create the poll. Also note reference to an article in the training packet, the Alio article. Begin by introducing authentic leadership with a video by Bill George, an iconic authentic leader. Note the articles and excerpt referenced in the training packet. Leading into a group activity using Think, Pair, Share, discussing one of the five dimensions of Bill George's authentic leadership. As you moderate the think, pair, share process, make sure the conversations are moving forward. Please have participants pull out the reflection card in the training packet, completing the two questions and turning it in during section break. Adaptive leadership, adapting when leading. Adventure or die by Jacob Woolbright. The key idea in chapter two is that we need to adapt when we are changing with the times. And as leaders, it is up to us to become adaptive leaders whenever times are challenging and times are changing. Before we delve in, two questions we'll be giving to the trainees to ponder before we jump in. It will focus on the Lewis and Clark expedition and how they went into uncharted territory and how they had to adapt when leading their followers through these territories. At this point, the lecture will begin. We will look at how the church itself is an instrument of change and adaptation. And we will compare that to the Lewis and Clark expedition and how they went into uncharted territories. After this, we will break off into small groups and discuss what we heard in the lecture. Now we will go over what Bolsinger mentions as three characteristics of adaptive leadership. And we will discuss what is needed exactly for these three characteristics to happen. Leading is an adventure. There are many types of leadership. And at this point, we will take an online quiz to see what type of leader you are. And then we will discuss how this type of leadership can function in a changing environment and how adaptive leadership is prevalent to your results. At this point, we will start our conclusion and look at the overview of adaptive leadership. And finally, we will discuss the challenges that face adaptive leadership, as well as finish off by taking North House's adaptive leadership questionnaire. Welcome to part three, transformational leadership, as we continue to train our trainers. Chapter three's key idea deals with how leadership motivates others towards transformation in order to accomplish a shared mission in the face of a changing world. We start with an outline to identify organizational goals. 
We will identify each of the four main educational goals. We will determine tasks to perform, such as discussion, podcast, and reflection. We will determine training activities, quiz, and discussion questions, as well as determine the characteristics of the educators we are training. We will have a set list of training session materials. Next, we will look at the definitions of canoeing the mountains. Bolsinger defines transformational leadership as a skill set that can be learned but not easily mastered. It is not a role or position, but a way of being, a way of leading that is unique. It is a transformation of the whole organization. While the theoretical approach of North House is to look at transformational leadership through the lens of intellectual stimulation, individual consideration, inspirational motivation, and idealized influence. Four takeaways regarding our training session are one, organizations find themselves in unfamiliar territory and we must lead with strength. This is the core value of authentic leadership. Two, adaptive challenges cannot be solved through existing skills. Three, systematic problems have no easy answers. And four, unchartered leadership requires transformation of the way we handle new challenges. We must grow through discipline as leaders, as students, as teachers, as citizens, and as humans without losing our core identity. May the force be with us as we navigate through uncharted territory, utilizing concepts from authentic leadership, adaptive leadership, and transformational leadership to guide us gracefully to the great unknown. Thank you for joining us for this presentation, and we hope that you have a wonderful day, a peaceful evening, and a joyous morning. Thank you.